Hey, you guys, we're back. Part two. All right. We were talking about Queen Vashti and her um, wanting to prove a point mm -hmm. yes. rather than, uh, you know, make a difference. Uh, and she uh, could have been silent and stayed disciplined and listened to the king when he asked her, to, when he called for her. Mm -hmm. But instead, she, she was proving a point that that's not what she was there for. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to be around and paraded in that in that sense that he wanted to to show her off to his friends so, uh, yes so um in that um uh, an opportunity came up mm -hmm. for well, she was dethroned mm -hmm. for that mm -hmm. because men told him hey you can't have women walk around thinking that they can do that mm -hmm. and not have to obey their their husband so you gotta you gotta take care of that exactly and so she was dethroned and they gave other women an opportunity to um, go through a preparation process yes. um, for an opportunity to be chosen for them to be the next queen. And so Queen, queen uh, Esther, she was basically the new queen on, mm -hmm. the, on the scene, mm -hmm. right? And Mor Mordecai, um, her cousin, mm -hmm. um, who she was under his care, his care, care. Mm -hmm. and he told her, gave her instruction and asked and told her to be quiet mm -hmm. in reference to her lineage and not mm -hmm. to reveal mm -hmm. um, you know her where her family came from because the Jews were not favored in, in in Persia under the Persian Empire and something powerful about that he said for her to keep quiet how many times have the Lord told you to keep quiet about something that you know you shouldn't have told but you told and then you created chaos you created enemies you created people looking at you and wanting what you had or this or that joseph did it you know he he had those dreams from the lord and he he went and told his brothers oh this is what god is gonna do and blah 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 but sometimes you guys not sometimes when the lord tell us to what be quiet we need to do that women we need to be able to know when to hold it and to fold it our mouth we, we we have god has made us creative beings emotional beings and it's all right to use that but you got to use it at the right time you got to know when to speak and when not to speak and queen esther she knew when to do that yes and so as a result of her being able to keep her mouth closed she was able to carry out what it is that she was supposed to be doing she had clarity and uh from the clarity she was able to receive direction mm -hmm. on how to flow mm -hmm. uh, the clarity of the fast mm -hmm. the clarity of the fast mm -hmm. um, and the fast came about because she was given a uh, a life threatening request okay yes mm -hmm. um, her uncle once she was in position and she was favored by the king mm -hmm. she was chosen she, and he crowned her mm -hmm. as queen um, there was a rule that that you know the king had in place that no one is to come to him to his chambers mm. unless they were called. Mm. So you can't just go willy nilly because mm -hmm. you feel like okay, yeah. this is who I am. But he had to call for you and hold up what they call a scepter mm -hmm. that said okay, um, you know you can enter. Mm -hmm. So her cousin uh, Mordecai. He got word that the Jews were mm -hmm. going to, um, you know, meet their demise. Yes. And all be um, slaughtered, mm -hmm. be killed off. And he told, he called for her. No. What what was he doing at the gates? He was wearing, um, he was, he was wearing um, uh, the, the, the ashes. He was, it's not mourning, but he was going through, um, you know, a time of, of grief okay, okay. and sorrow mm -hmm. because of what his people were being, being faced with. Mm -hmm. And so he went to the gates to get, um, you know, Queen, Va Queen Esther's attention and ask her, you know, you need to help us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so Queen Esther, you know, she was a little, a little embarrassed by what was going on. Mm -hmm. And she sent for him to, you know, new clothes. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he had on sackcloth. Okay, okay. That's what it was. And Yeah. And if you look up somebody wearing sackcloth, 
you know, just Google it. It just, it looks a hot mess. Okay. But he was really grieving for his people. Okay. If somebody tell you they're going to kill you and all your people and family and kin too. Yeah. Then yeah. you might be going through a little something too. Yes. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but, but Queen Esther, she didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. She didn't know about that, you know, a decree that was sent out for the Jews, all the Jews to be killed. Mm -hmm. So she sent for him. Um, clothes for him to put on mm -hmm. so he can be more presentable because mm -hmm. she didn't know what was going on with him mm -hmm. but he declined the clothes that she sent for him mm. and gave her the message hey you need of to what, know what's what going on happen and place. this is what's happening and you are queen for such mm. a time as this for such a time as this now is your time to speak mm. speak up but now. It, wasn't, it wasn't her time before it wasn't it was at a designated time a designated time so the last P is purpose. Oh, she she called the fast. Well, we already talked about the fast. That she okay. had a, they had one on the fast. I mean, the detailing about the fast was that they had to fast for three days and three nights, you know. And then she would plan to go before the king. Yeah, because she knew that she couldn't just do it any kind of way. Yeah, so she had to prepare herself and hear from the Lord. And she said, if I perish, I, I perish. perish. So she she walked in boldness. That right. that took boldness to do right. that because no anybody just want to perish. Some people are like, uh, I, I'm sorry, I, no, I don't want to lose my life. It ain't all that. But she that, had passion. She had passion. Exactly. Thank you for taking me back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. That was a powerful part right there. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear that? She had passion. Passion will passion passion will be so powerful that you will go, you will do what you what you, you would normally do. Go to the ends of the earth. Woo! Jesus. So now, purpose. And so she, she was able to walk out her full purpose. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she realized that it wasn't all about her. Mm -hmm. And she was, um, you know, put in that position mm -hmm. for, um, you know, for a higher, a higher calling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, she was the avenger of the Jews. Avenger of the Jews. Hey. Just like Jesus Christ is the avenger for us. Mm -hmm. He died for us so that we could have life, y'all, and have it more abundantly. She and I would not be standing here today, would not be sitting here in this car today if it wasn't for Christ dying for us. And the purpose on our lives. And the purpose have. on our lives. Through all the hell and high, just everything. And his direction in the midst of it. So know that a setback can be a set up for your destiny. It may look crazy right now where you're at. It may look crazy. But trust God. Know that it can all work together for the good of them who are, uh, who what? I'm called. According to his purpose. Who love God. Who love God. You, but you see, you, the key is love you have to love God. You have to have a passion for God. You got to have that foundation with the Lord, y'all. People be quoting scriptures, but they're not lining up with the scriptures. Right. Right. Don't use God for what you want to use him for. He needs to be in your life every day, all day. It's Church is a supplement on Sunday and Wednesday. People go to Bible study. People go to church on Sunday. But what about your daily walk with God? Do you get up and spend time with Do you thank him for waking you up? Do you read the Bible with your children? Are you having devotions with your kids? Are you speaking and teaching them the word of God on a daily, equipping them so when they, they get out there and start their own family, they can teach their family family the same thing? It's more than just going to the building, y'all. We are the building. And it's time for us as people of God to walk it out because there is a world out here that need us. Girl. <laughs> and all those desires that God has put in your heart, they will come. But then what's the prerequisite for your desires? God says if you delight yourself in him, he then he will give, give you, you the desires of your heart. This was, hey, I hope that you all have been blessed by this message because it has totally blessed us. Just us doing it right here, right now, because this was not planned. This was an on-time moment. And so, say, subscribe to the channel, be blessed, and love you.